Okay, YouTube, uh, follow video to the uh, one I just posted about an hour ago. I've made my modifications on my new SIG P320, and I thought I'd uh, do a quick, well, what I hope to be a quick follow-up video on those modifications and point out a couple of other things I've noticed. Let me put the camera down, and we'll start the yakin. Uh, again, high tech here. I ought to think of a name for my video productions like uh, Basement uh, Smartphone Video Productions Presents, but I, that's a topic for another day. All right, SIG P320C, the compact version. Uh, just posted a video on this and indicated I was going to make some. Uh, uh, drop the slide here. I mean, drop the mag. Show you it's empty. Uh, first one I did, uh, this was the version that had the, uh, SIG calls them contrast sights. They are three dot iron sights, metal, but they're not uh, luminescent. They're not uh, night sights. There's no tritium inserts. It's just a, uh, uh, they call contrast sights. Uh, they're three, three dot uh, white uh, sites. Uh, it's about a hundred dollars less expensive uh, version than the ones with the SIG light night sites, but uh, I actually sought out the SIG P320 with these contrast sites because I prefer the Trigicon HD night sites uh, over even SIG's uh, SIG light night sites. I have those on my P229 from SIG that came with the SIG light night sights, so I'm not going to change them out. It'd be you know, wasting money, but I much prefer this this setup, these Trigicon HD sights, and I have these on my Glocks, got these on uh, my full-size HK VP9, even on a couple of my 1911s. I really uh, like this sight picture. So... That was uh, modification number one. And then modification number two was I took the, uh, removed the curved trigger shoe from uh, in my left hand here uh, from SIG, comes on the pistol, and installed a Apex flat advanced trigger for the SIG P320. Uh, and it says it uh, directly replaces the factory trigger, reducing trigger pull weight by approximately two pounds. And there's quite a few videos out there on YouTube on uh, that, the installation of this trigger, as well as its benefits. Let me just show you my results. So when I was giving my intro video on this, I was getting a trigger pull of uh, roughly six and a half pounds with my high-tech, sarcasm intended, non-digital Wheeler trigger pull scale. Let's uh, see if I can uh, get a good measurement here. I did it off camera before we started and was getting right around five pounds. Just a hair under five pounds there. Let's do it again. And I mean a hair, it would be like 4.9. I mean, the, the, basically five pounds. Again, hair under five pounds. So roughly went from six and a half pounds down to five pounds. Uh, I'm very happy with that. Uh, so those are my modifications. One thing I did want to uh, quickly bring out, I'm not going to do a comparis full-blown comparison to a Glock 19. Uh, as we all know, there's quite a few videos out there on that. Uh, very entertaining videos, mind you. I'm not knocking those. I'm just saying I'm not going to add to them. But one thing that uh, the reviewers have uh, mentioned uh, in their review was the significant uh, uh, difference in width uh, in, in saying that the slide, uh, the width of the clock is significantly thinner than the width, width of the SIG P320. Uh, and if you look at just the slide, they're, they're right. Uh, Let's take out the old calipers here. I won't get too nerdy. Let me even turn them on. Might as well do that. Uh, the SIG slide comes in at 1.0. Try 
trying to get it, 1.058, and now it's 1.053, 1.055, let's call it. You put it on the Glock, and my word, but if you, uh, the, the Glock's at, its slide is at 1.01. 1. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but the slide is not the thickest part on the Glock that's going in the holster. It's the frame you can see right here. This is the thickest part and makes the holster be that much thicker. And lo and behold, that's at 1.153. And as you might be able to see in this terrible lighting in this uh, basement video production, uh, the SIG is actually a little bit thinner. Uh, so the SIG comes in at, let's see if I can get this again, well now I'm getting 1.06, that's a good number, I'll take that and run with it, and the Glock on the other hand is getting 1.15, so uh, uh, I'm not good at math, but uh, if you take the thickest part of, in, in the Glock's case, it's the frame, and compare it to the width of the SIG, SIG's actually a hair thinner. Now, granted, yes, I could measure this down at the takedown lever, but then you could make the case that with the takedown tabs, you'd want to measure over top of that, and they stick out slightly. I'm not doing this to say one's superior to the other. I'm just pointing out that it, for all intents and purposes, you start putting these in a holster, the holster itself needs to be about the same width. To prove my point, I have a couple of these uh, Stealth Operator uh, True Multi-Fit Holsters. I use these from when I'm at the range. Uh, they fit multiple hol uh, firearms. For example, the Glock fits in there. When I'm shooting my uh, VP9, that fits in there. When I'm shooting my, excuse my arm, sorry about that again, high-tech video, produ basement produ video productions, and then my uh, uh, Canik uh, TP9SF, and that fits in there, so get that over there, trying not to <coughs> block the video, and then you'll see the SIG goes in there as easily too. Now, it does get hung up a little right here with the rails catching that holster right there, um, but as I take it in and out, I'm wearing it <laughs> down a little. Uh, the VP9's uh, rails do not uh, catch there, but uh, the SIG does. But as you can see, this is not, you know, thick Kydex, and it is going to, it's pl more plastic. Uh, um, but again, I get Kydex holsters for my uh, pistols that I'm going to carry, but when I'm at the range and I'm shooting two or three different uh, pistols, I like to have that, that, that one on my hip so I can go from one to the other, uh, one gun to the other, and not have to be swapping out my holsters all, all afternoon. Um, so uh, another quick point, uh, you know, when you put these in your hand side by side, oh, the ergonomics on the SIG P320 just wins out. Now, this is the medium frame. Um, and, uh, you know, this is a Glock, a third generation Glock, so there is no adjustment. There's no interchangeable back straps you can put on that. It is what it is. Um, and much prefer the uh, P320 from SIG. Now, this one is, uh, is my, uh, it's a Glock 19 uh, slide on a Lone Wolf Timberwolf frame. And as you can see, uh, it, it's much, uh, I've done a video on this already. Oh, incidentally, you can see I've got those uh, HD, run those HD sights on these pistols. This grips a little bit more uh, close, more close, closer to the SIG P320. Um, but I actually preferred the grip of this. Now, um, I'm shooting 9mm, so I'm not going to worry about the bore axis being slightly, uh, and it is it is higher. The bore axis is higher um, on that uh, that SIG, but shooting 9mm, um, I'm not, you know, I'm not having trouble keeping the sights uh, uh, where they need to go. Now I need to go out and shoot 
the new uh, the new uh, new sights make sure I don't need to drift those one way or the other uh, to compensate for my terrible uh, trigger pull uh, I, I need to work on my trigger pull uh, but I can compensate for uh, any uh, too much finger or too little finger you know uh, by drifting a sight if I want to but that's another video for another day uh, so that's what I have for the SIG P320C. I have ordered a uh, lower in flat dark earth. Well, I have an order. It's on back order, and I put uh, put in an order. I'm on uh, on the wait list for that, as well as um, a subcompact frame. I'm going to take my compact slide and put it on the subcompact frame. There's quite a few videos out there where people have done that, and I've watched those and. It, 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 it's going to be work fine for me as well. So I've got uh, two frames on order, um, and we'll see how that uh, rolls out. I might do a follow-up video when I ever get those in, but otherwise I'm just going to enjoy shooting this and uh, move on to the next video topic, whatever that may be. All right, that's what I have for you this evening. Thanks for watching.